so uh, I'm in the middle of tasting the 2020 Burgundy Vintage from Barrel right now, and um, sometimes it's nice to, to drink something different and to change the pace. And tonight we have a, a good friend here for dinner and uh, two pretty exciting bottles, uh, both from the 1982 Bordeaux Vintage. Uh, both aspirants to first growth status, one uh, Mouton that achieved it in 73 and one that still quite hasn't, but uh, many people think that the wines are on that sort of level. Um, so they're coming up for 40 years old and a vintage that some people thought would be quite mm, rapid evolving. Uh, in, in fact, it's drinking very classically today, you know, and I think um, looking at how the wines are showing, as long as they haven't traveled too much, and that's a danger with the 82s because uh, they've received such critical acclaim, they've been so important in the marketplace for so long that they're traded a lot, and many cases can accumulate more uh, air miles than even, uh, even international wine reviewers. Uh, so uh, you have to watch out for that. But when they've been stored really well, the wines are still, in fact, rather youthful. I mean, you can see the colors in the glass, very deep ruby black, still not too much fading at the rim. Um, I think in that respect, they've definitely evolved more slowly than some of the sort of more acclaimed surrounding vintages, whether it be 78, 79, 75. Uh, or 85, 89, and 90 even. Uh, they were evolving really at a rather, rather slow pace. Um, and also today, you know, I think the style of the wines is a large yield, rather ripe, generous, uh, low acid style of wine. Today, the wines don't really seem at all extreme. They seem really rather classic. In fact, I once sent the Mouton that we have here to, to the laboratory and it's only 11.49% alcohol. So, uh, I mean, really, actually rather balanced wines that, that there was perhaps a bit of a song and a dance about nothing when people at the time said maybe there's a bit too, too much. Um, yeah, as they, as they, uh, as they uh, reached their 40th birthday, I think, looking back, you can say that it was definitely the most interesting vintage just in terms of the sheer number of, of very exciting, high-quality wines and also just very delicious everyday wines, which, you know, some of the Cru Bourgeois and things are sort of fading a little bit now, but, um, you know, Looking back, it's, it's really hard to say that there was anything on that level since 1961 to, to 1982. So you can see why uh, it's been such an epoch-making vintage for Bordeaux, and it's, uh, it's really exciting to, to look at them. I look forward to tasting a lot more next year when they hit the 40-year the anniversary.